Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again. And I want to talk to you about some real good special things, I think. Uh, at least that's what I feel that they are. And I want to share it with you. I want to take us back, way back. You remember the founding of this nation? Great nation. Had some strange things that come along. It wasn't strange to the people who were around at the time that it happened. But it, to some, to whom it didn't matter, it mattered. And uh, it ended up here today. And I have to say to you that uh, this message that I want to share with you speaks to those moments in time. We say that at least we say to the rest of the world that we are the most religious, spiritual nation on earth, that we are the ones who honor and praise the only God, the true God of all gods. And uh, I hope that's good. Well, I hope it's true. Well, not necessarily true, but I hope that it's true about us, that at least we are real. I'm not trying to bring anybody else down, but uh, I have a proposal that I'd like to make. I would say, ladies and gentlemen who are listening to my voice, I invite you together, all of us, as a family, as a neighborhood, as a community. I want us, I want you, yours, To bring God's heaven down here where God's people are. I want us to do here on earth. I invite us to do it as if we are doing it in heaven. I invite us to change America. We have seen us go through ups and downs. But I, one of you, invite us, the people, to do what has never been done before. Let's manifest who we really are. Those of you who are hard-driven Christians, love God with all your heart, which means you love everybody else more than anybody else. Don't let us hold you back. Those who haven't matured that far yet, love the best you can. But understand that those who love more will not be driven. I'm talking about everybody who is responsible for supporting themselves or others, whether it's a family, friend, a wife, a spouse, you know, whatever it is. Everybody that is responsible for supporting life, their existence, and the existence of others have a job and put them back to work. Everybody else who falls short for one reason or another, whether they are not old enough yet, they haven't left home yet, they're still in school, but the training of the career that they are interested in are the training that they should have. And it should be unlimited, unrestricted, only to make them the best at whatever it is that they can be. And when they are qualified, put them into the workforce. You say, what? where are the jobs going to come from? Wherever people are working at today doing something, they got some new employees coming in. They got new employees coming in. Employees to broaden based upon the need of the masses their particular job. Taking away some of the hours so people don't have to work all the time, 40-hour weeks. Why not work 20-hour weeks and losing no benefits? We can do that. We must do that. Why? Because we are creating here amongst God's people. And we who are God's people will not allow anything other than God's people. Lead us. We will not be moved because you want to make a lot of money. We will not be moved because you want to be a big shot. 
We will not be moved because you got a weapon and you will kill. We will still march on down this beautiful, beautiful highway of life. I'm calling, I'm challenging you, America. 